Hey guys, uh, this is Stacy. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. For today's video, I thought we would try the printable magnet sheets. You want to go to your computer on your web browser. You want to go to cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen here. Up left hand corner where it says account. Click on that. Then click on sign in. Then enter in your email and your password. Then click on sign in. Now you do want to have your machine on the dial setting. You want to have that set to custom. So I, I already have that done. I see my name there, so that verifies we're logged in. Click on Create New Project. Now what I'll, I'm doing is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to print out a logo my husband found on the internet the other day. It's a little Hardy Davidson symbol. On the left hand side toolbar, click on where it says Upload Image. And you can use any image you like. I'm going to click on Basic Upload. Then click on Browse, then find that on my computer, which is right there. Click on Choose. So I see that there. It's a pretty simple image. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to just click on simple. Then click on continue. And there's the image there. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller on my upper right hand corner. I'm going to zoom out of it a little bit so I can see all the image. I'm going to click on preview. So there I can see the red outline, which is what I want. So I'm going to click on continue. You can name the file. At this point, add you know keywords. I'm going to just click on save. I thought it would be kind of fun to make that into a magnet form. All right, so I see it there. I'm going to go ahead and have that selected. Click on Insert Image. And there's our image there. Now I'm going to resize. I'm going to go to my Edit Panel so I can see the size 3 inches. I'll make it a little bit bigger than that, maybe about 4 inches wide. Okay, so I'm at 4 inches wide. You want to have your image selected. Go to your Layer Panel, and you want to click on Flatten. So that way it becomes a printable image. I'm going to click on Go. And I do have the printable magnet sheet already in my printer. You want to make sure it's going to print on the right side. So maybe I can do a test print first. I'm just going to print that out. Click on Print and Go. I'm going to click OK here. And then click on Print. All right, when this is done printing out, I'm going to take you guys to the Cricut and we'll see it cut it out. Alright guys, I'm back. I want to show you this screen real quick. It printed out. It's already loaded in my mat. But on the back of the instructions, it does tell us to select magnet sheets. So we're going to go here where it says select material. Click on that. And go down to where it says magnet. It does not tell me the weight of this on here. Um, it just says it doesn't, I don't know what weight it is. And there's, I guess it's light. It's a lightweight magnet. Alright. I'm going to take you guys to the Cricut, and we're going to go ahead and cut it out. All right, guys, we are back. We're at the Cricut. It went ahead and printed my image out. It actually printed out really nicely. It's going to print out the two registration marks here and the one at the bottom. You always want the two at the top and the very at the very top of your Cricut map and the upper left-hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the little icon there to have it go. It's going to first read the registration marks. It's going to come all the way down the very bottom and then go back up. So you see the light comes on, and that's reading the registration marks. It didn't say we needed a deep cut blade housing. I guess with the th with the thicker magnet, you might, you might, but this one we're fine, I think. See, it goes up and down, and then it goes left to right. Now it's going to go to the other one, and then it'll go to this one down here, and then it'll start cutting it for us. This works. These are going to make really cute gifts. And I did see the printable magnet at Joann's for $10.99, and it seemed to have stopped. It says cut in progress. There we go. I just kind of paused for a minute. I got a little nervous. All right, so it's going to cut around it. All right, it's done. Let's go to unload it. Now, this is just, you know, the printer ink is from your printer. So let's see how this did. Oh, it actually did a really nice job. Whoops, on the floor. Hang on. Bring that back. It actually did a really good job. Now, like the ink is going to depend on your printer, of course, and um, you know it's not going to be waterproof unless you're unless you have printable, you know, or waterproof ink on your printer. But 
I think did a really good job. And I'm actually gonna turn this sheet around and print off another one, maybe a few more I can get on here. So I'm not wasting this whole sheet, but there you have it guys, principal magnet with the, with the um, Cricut Explorer. I'm gonna um, give you guys a picture of it hanging on my fridge so you can see the magnet part. Alrighty guys, there's the magnet on my fridge. How cool is that? You can see it's not a very strong magnet. It does kind of slide around. It's pretty thin. I have a receipt up here though. We're gonna see if it can hold up this receipt. Put the magnet off, kind of plop it on there. It does hold up the receipt. You can see it's all by itself holding it up. I really do like this. I think this is gonna make great Christmas gifts. You know, you can customize them for Christmas gifts. I think they're awesome. And the printed magnet you can get, you can find at Joann's. I seen it yesterday when I was there. It is $10.99 for a pack of three. So kind of pricey, but well worth it because you can customize your own magnets. Any questions, guys, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.